Yeah, Zach and Abby police identified that victim today as 69 year old Douglas Smith. Now they say Smith was a supervisor somewhere here at the Hobby Lobby distribution warehouse. They say the man that killed him was also an employee. He was identified today as 32 year old Dominique Thompson. The suspect had gotten into uh, some type of verbal altercation over a work related issue. After that argument had finished, had returned to the parking lot, grabbed a firearm out of their vehicle, uh, went back inside. It was at that point that the suspect shot the victim. What started as an active shooter call to police, leaving two employees of Hobby Lobby dead. The 32 year old gunman Dominique Thompson and his supervisor, 69 year old Douglas Smith. Oklahoma City Police told KOCO it's unclear which building the shooting took place at, but recognized the size of the campus, saying with this many buildings, it's unclear how many people saw the incident or could have been affected. I don't know how many people actually witnessed the uh, the shooting, um, how many people they spoke with. Any time that there's a workplace tragedy such as this, is it, it is a tragedy, um, tragedy for the for the victim and, and the suspect and their families. Uh, but uh, uh, our officers were willing and ready to. Um, to search those buildings. Thompson fled the scene following the shooting, leading police on a pursuit. Other agencies became involved in that pursuit. That suspect had driven out into an area of Kingfisher County where uh, they ultimately crashed. Police say Thompson was barricaded inside his car after the crash, but it's unclear at this point how he died. Police say the medical examiner will decide the cause of death. Hobby Lobby's founder and CEO David Green sent KOCO this statement today saying they mourn the loss of a valued and respected employee, Doug Smith, to a devastating act of violence. And we reached out to Hobby Lobby today to see what resources they have for their employees and if they have protocol to help prevent situations like this. Now, we haven't heard back from the company yet, but coming up tonight at 6, I spoke with the Oklahoma Safety Council about what steps companies can take to help prevent things like this and keep their employees safe from acts of violence.